On Wednesday, SpaceX attempted the third high-altitude flight test of their next-generation fully reusable rocket, Starship. Rolled out to the launch pad on 28th of January, Starship SN10 lifted off just five weeks later, the fastest factory-to-launch flow yet. The speed of the turnaround was made possible thanks to a comparatively very smooth launch campaign, passing the cryogenic proof and static fire tests in just few attempts. However, Starship SN10 didn't leave the pad on the first launch attempt on Wednesday. During the first attempt for launch, SN10's flight computer automatically aborted the flight as it majored higher than expected thrust from the three Raptor engines. Elon Musk updated us about the situation on Twitter and also stated that SpaceX would be tweaking the flight software's thrust limit and also recycle the propellant for another shot at launch. And sure enough, Starship SN10 attempted the launch for the second time after a few hours this time clearing the launch pad for the targeted altitude. As you can see, the ascent of Starship SN10 is very similar to its predecessors SN8 and SN9. Flying under the power of three Raptor engines, at around T plus 2 minutes 15 seconds, SN10 switched back to two Raptor engines for the remaining phase of ascent. And then, at just over 8 kilometers of altitude, SN10 shifted its control to a single Raptor engine as it neared the apogee of 10 kilometers. And quite unsurprisingly, once at its highest point, the prototype shut down the last remaining Raptor engine and successfully completed the belly flop maneuver, switching the controls to the aerodynamic surfaces of the rocket. Except for the last few seconds, Starship SN10 did nothing new in its flight. Just like its predecessors, the prototype had a stable ascent, did a successful belly flop maneuver and also had a control descent under its aerodynamic surfaces. The only thing that was different this time was the landing approach. Instead of relighting two engines for the flip maneuver, SN10 was going to relight all the three Raptor engines. This was going to be followed by switching back to two of the healthiest Raptors before ultimately going down to a single Raptor for touchdown. And to everyone's delight, SN10 performed the landing burn just as planned. SN10 relighted all the three Raptor engines, switched to two Raptor engines, and ultimately went down to a single Raptor engine before a successful touchdown. And there you have it, Starship SN10 the first full-scale Starship prototype to successfully complete the high-altitude flight test. But anyone looking at this for the first time can tell that something's wrong here. There are some questions that arises here. First of all, where are the landing legs? And why is Starship looking like the leaning tower of Boca Chica? And then why is there a fire next to the prototype? All these suspicious ingredients collectively form the recipe of what is called, you guessed it, a rapid unscheduled disassembly. Just a few minutes after SpaceX's livestream ended, Starship SN10 decided to follow the path of its predecessors and just exploded. So what went wrong? When taking a closer look at the final few seconds of the landing phase of SN10, it becomes pretty evident that the landing was not smooth. You can clearly see that SN10 bounced after touchdown, and as far as I know, bouncing is something that rockets don't like to do. This bounce clearly indicated that SN10 did not have a soft landing. The hard landing also explains why we cannot see the landing legs, because the landing legs were not there, they just could not absorb the force of hard landing. But this still does not explain the explosion. And honestly, there is no clear reason as to what caused the explosion. That too, the explosion happened after several minutes and not immediately. One of the possible reasons could be the flight termination system. As SN10 was leaning towards one side, the flight termination system could have triggered the explosion. But when you take a closer look at the explosion, it is clear that the point of explosion was at the bottom of the rocket and the flight termination system is not there. So this possibility is not on the cards anymore. So there remains only one possible explanation according to me. As you can see, there was a propellant leak just before the explosion. So we can say that the bounce may have caused some sort of structural damage to SN10 leading to a propellant leak which ultimately caught fire resulting in the explosion. But whatever be the reason, Starship SN10 demonstrated that the new landing approach works and SpaceX just need to find a solution for the landing legs. Even though it was not a soft landing, SN10 still is the first Starship prototype to successfully complete the complex high altitude flight test. Next up, we have Starship SN11 almost ready and we will be seeing another Starship flight very soon. 
Until then, you can use your analytical skills to find out what caused the explosion. If you find anything, do let me know in the comments section. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.